your childhood like? <laughs> am I on a couch? <laughs> is, is my fan like a, you know, 300 bucks an hour, you know? 40, 40. There's the bell. Oh, there's the bell. You're done. Out of here. Next. Uh, no, my, both my parents were scientists and uh, astrophysicists, astronomers at uh, Princeton University. And uh, otherwise, a normal childhood, just like anybody with two astrophysicists, tenured professor parents, just like all of your listeners, I'm sure. No, we, um, you know, to us, our dad was the guy who like couldn't operate the VCR. I'm not sure you actually know what a VCR is now, but, <laughs> you know, the guy who said like, it turns out, you know, he was nominated for the Nobel Prize many times and cre created, you know, very widely regarded in his field. But to us, he was just, you know, regular dad who tried to like figure out a wrench and how to put, you know, bookshelves together and it wasn't quite working. But one thing that they, you know, growing up uh, really instilled in me that made a big difference for many years was the idea of asking questions, of figuring out how things work but persistent, not accepting sort of simple explanations. And years later, I remember um, I, I eventually became a physicist as well and then transitioned into the business world and started this uh, biotech company. Um, but years later, I was reading a biography of a physicist named Isidore Rabi, who uh, grew up in New York, won the Nobel Prize for some, you know, some uh, work that he did in particle physics. And someone asked him, was there anything about your childhood that you think in retrospect really helped you become the kind of person who could win the Nobel Prize? And he said, I don't think there was anything special. Well, maybe one thing. All the kids, when they came home from school, their mothers asked them, what did you learn today? Well, my mother asked me, did you ask any good questions today? And that really kind of stayed with me, that there's so much about figuring out stuff, not only in the scientific world, but in the business world and in your personal life that comes down to, did you ask any good questions? And did you keep asking questions? Did you not stick with the superficial answer? Let's just even take personal relationships. You know, you're in a, you know, you're a, let's say you're in a marriage or you're, or even in a professional intense relationship sometimes are like marriages, a business partner or an executive team or, and someone is doing some weird behavior that might be pissing you off. You could just say, stop. You could say, that's really pissing me off or do this other thing. Or you could start asking questions. You know, where's that coming from? You know, is the person really just not understand X? Are they doing it to spite you? Or is there something going on that you're not aware of? Or do they have some like instructions that they thought they should be doing X, you thought they should be doing Y, and you're just, you're just not getting it. So the power of asking really good questions kind of translates and transcends arena. Like Isidore Rabi's story, you asked me like my childhood, I think we learned that the search for truth is what's important. You know, for my parents, money is, it's just, it's just not interesting. For, you know, I think for a lot of, high power, successful academics, that's true as well. They're not really in it for the money. They're in it because it's exciting and it's fun to search for truth, to try to see mysteries in the world around you and try to see if you can figure out how, how and why is it working. And the, the pleasure that you get when you figure that kind of stuff out, and sometimes you're the first in the world to sort of figure it out. Or if you're an entrepreneur, and you've asked a really good question about a marketplace, why is it so hard to do X? Why do streaming services suck so bad? Someone might have asked about, well, I don't wanna say anything about a company that rhymes with Microsoft or, <laughs> or Blipe, you know? But then there's, you know, this other company rhymes with Boom, comes along, well, do they really need to be like that? Do you really need to go through all this complicated stuff? Can we just make it a lot easier? Asking questions about your marketplace or about science, or about your personal relationships, all of those domains, if you just keep asking surprising questions, it's amazing how much you can learn, how much you can discover, how much further you can get along than, let's say, your competitors who aren't asking those questions. So if I got anything out of the childhood, it was, that the, it was the pursuit of truth and to keep asking good questions.